Hi, I'm Wade Cravita from Custom Fire and with me today is one of two new pumpers which we just built for the Brooklyn Park Fire Department. We've all been very excited to finish these trucks to showcase them in this way as these are what we would call rugged work trucks for a fire department, kind of an urban design. This fire department prioritized reliability, functionality, and safety as they approached the design of these trucks, which they hope sets the stage for future designs that the fire department uses. Starting at the front bumper here, it's a, it's a minimal extension. It's about 16 inches, but it has a large storage well for pre-connected hose. And the front discharge is two and a half inches and then reduced to inch and a half so they could break this connection and, and add larger uh, hose to run maybe a ground monitor or something like that off the front end. And as you've probably noticed by now, this is built on a Sutphin Monarch chassis. The Sutphin chassis is incredibly robust. They drive beautifully. When we show them to customers and we do test drives, they all come away with this as their top choice. It has a SteerTech front axle. Uh, when later on you'll see the interior is really well laid out and it's just got that classic design that Sutphin has always had. We have the modern LED lighting, some convenient handrails to allow uh, wiping the windshield and then up above we have the Freedom Bar and a whole assortment of Whalen uh, dual pane brow lights and then the M6 series warning lights and then as kind of a hallmark of the Sutphin chassis obviously we have the Q siren in the front and then they've been starting to show some uh, patriotic flair with the laser cut grill with the stars and stripes and then putting the customer's name right in there as well. This Sutton Monarch chassis has the long four-door cab which offers compartmentation to the rear of the crew doors. It's, it's actually quite large on the, on the Sutton chassis. And then you can see that this has the barrier doors which are are held up. We can do full length doors, of course. The uh, truck here has dual auto ejects, and then they've elected to do a keep, keypad security code just for some enhanced safety of the crew in certain environments. Sutphin does a lot of things standard, which would be considered significant upgrades on other makes of chassis. An example of that is the heavy duty brushed stainless steel door panels on all four doors. And then underneath, what you're not going to see uh, is that they have stainless steel battery boxes and lids. They also have a stainless steel fuel tank and then a full under, under carriage like a cradle for the fuel tank. It's not just a couple straps. It's a, a full uh, welded perimeter frame that's suspended uh, from the chassis frame rails to support that tank and never corrode. All right, so I'm sitting in the driver's seat, obviously, and uh, some things I like to point out about the Sutphin chassis is that we have a nice variety of upper panels. Uh, when you spec out a Sutphin chassis, they, they're, they're numbered, so we have a variety of how we orient everything. The, uh, the features you see here can be moved around based on what the, the customer prefers, but here we have the scene lighting, uh, backup camera, HVAC controls, we have identification lights for the various items that could be open or deployed like the cab doors, the body doors, uh, ladder rack and that sort of thing, deck gun. Um, up above the officer we have just a little uh, cubby with some webbing and then additional switches. Down below we have three nice panels which are very uh, legible and, and clearly laid out. Uh, park brake, transmission shifter, um, pump shift of course. Uh, this is for the Whalen uh, core lighting. This has like a GPS based light management system for flash pattern and intensity. And then um, just a variety of the other typical controls you see with the uh, auxiliary brake, high idle and all that sort of thing. And then officer switches as well. Now this has an emergency uh, brake release and then they have a diff lock. But all in all, it's just an extremely rugged, uh, durable, chassis they're incredibly quiet and um, as I mentioned earlier just a beautiful truck to drive they ride extremely well um, we have some clients with these chassis on order that uh, compared them to independent front suspension and came away preferring the steer tech in fact and then um, kind of in my elbow area here we have a raised mounting panel uh, a couple uh, boxes that will accept rubber gloves. 
some feedback that we've received from from customers in the field with these cabs they're super impressed with the heat and air conditioning capabilities of these trucks and this truck has the um, AC to face and the uh, heat to feet which in our climate is is excellent and pretty much a must-have uh, but the it's a just overall a, all in all an extremely capable system for heating and cooling in um, hot humid and extremely cold uh, climates and I'm sitting in the rear facing uh, outboard driver's side seat right now and what you'll see the whole back wall has been really kind of customized for the customers requirements we have some power leads run into these cabinets adjustable shelving some cargo webbing and just a lot of thoughtful design put into how the uh, the uh, kind of the division and the in the size of these compartments are now the Sutphin chassis uh, as well as you know other chassis manufacturers is has a bit of a shorter front overhang um, but with a shorter front overhang it brings the engine tunnel back so the engine tunnel is essentially uh, terminates at the uh, forward door hinge of the crew area doors um, and that uh, offers us a really nice drop down access door into the engine compartment back here for fluid inspection and filling and checking uh, but you know you can just get a, a lot of different seating arrangements in these cabs uh, forward facing seats obviously is, is quite common um, what you're probably not going to see here is that above me here is a full width uh, storage area which is about 10 inches tall and about 90 inches wide and about 18 inches deep so just in a tremendous amount of available space there and then oh, a real neat feature of Sutphin chassis is above the doors they have this pocket knockout here where we can put three boxes of rubber gloves and it's what a great location you know you kick the door open and you grab what you need as you depart this truck has a 500 gallon poly tank and a 20 gallon foam cell and as you can see the apparatus body compartments feature our flush fit stainless steel hinged compartment doors the wheel well has two compartments front and rear the forward one is an open triangular shape which will accommodate the driver's air pack and then the rear one here is for a couple folding wheel chocks the front driver's side compartment also known as the engineer's compartment has a couple vertical pull-out tool boards with a variety of attachments and mounting brackets for couplings, hand tools, and nozzles. Over the rear wheels, we just have an adjustable shelf and then a floor pan. And in the rear, we have it divided up with a couple adjustable shelves, an area for the storage of some tall equipment, and then we have a rotating base for their cutter, spreader, and ram. Some other details I'll point out here on the pump panel that we have a large pass-through closet ahead of the fire pump as well as pass-through storage for a variety of pike poles and irons. And the pump panel is all brushed stainless steel. We have a TFT intake relief valve and then up here we have a little cubby that we've put in to, to, re to receive the radio. And then we recess the operator panel to allow this intake valve assembly to recess as far in as possible on the water as full body fire pump. And then everything else on the panel is fairly typical. You have a pressure governor, a foam control head, and then a foam refill port. We have some folding steps on the front of the body. And then along the bottom portion of the apparatus body, we have poly rub rails, as well as a recessed hose well for supply line. I stated earlier that we were excited to put these trucks out because they represent some features and designs that aren't incredibly typical around here this is very much a, a rugged work truck style fire truck it's got the low hose bed ladders on the side exterior and there really isn't anything on this truck that doesn't f perform a function or lend itself to reliability or safety rather than doing a roll-up door at the back where they would eat about 10 inches of available space we went with hinge doors here and then a pull-out tray we have the traffic bar down low, a protected backup camera. We have three rear discharges, nice and accessible here, and then uh, folding steps on the back of the truck. Within this compartment here is just a switch and, and uh, indicator light for the Zymatic ladder rack. 
So in this low hose bed, we have some tall dividers, but they've been cut down to the actual height that the hose will stack to. That way it, it just improves the ability to, to work within the hose bed and stack the hose. On the driver's side outboard, they're gonna have 200 feet of inch and three quarter. Next to that, they're gonna have 800 feet of two and a half and 100 feet of inch and three quarter on top of that. And then right here, we're gonna have 800 feet of five inch and then another 200 feet of two and a half and another 200 feet of inch and three quarter. And these will you know, be pre-connected down below, but uh, offer the ability to break the lines to um, add hose as necessary or just you know, control how much you actually flank out of the back end. Now the officer side of the body is more or less a three quarter height rather than a half height. And that's just because we have the compartment above the rear wheels. In the front officer side compartment, we've got a couple uh, protrusions in that cabinet. Those are basically for hanging high rise packs on. And then again, we have that drop down compartment over the rear wheels. And then in the back, we have a pull out tray and an adjustable shelf to accommodate uh, saw essentially and, and some other equipment. So this Zymatic style ladder rack, you know, it's got some pros and cons to it, frankly. The, the con is obviously going to be that it just limits how much storage you can have on the officer side of the body and that it's open, the ladders are open to the element. The rack brings the ladders down to a very manageable height um, and that's what can many times dictate how high these compartments can be. Whatever you're willing or comfortable working with uh, would would tell us where we can run these compartments, how high they can be. Uh, another benefit of this style of rack is that it, it doesn't stick way out from the side of the truck. You know, we're maybe less than two feet away from the apparatus body. And on this side of the pump module, because it's not the control panel, we're able to put a large removable panel on the pump house. So if you just uh, remove these two couplings, pop these latches here, the whole panel will lift away and it just provides awesome access for the pump interior for you know, maintenance and service. These two new trucks are the second and third pumpers that Brooklyn Park will have received from Custom Fire. Their first truck is a quite a bit different design, so they put a lot of creative thought and energy into designing the format for their apparatus on into the future. These trucks are built out of the 12 gauge bolted stainless steel that we are renowned for and they've already experienced the benefits of that construction. Not only is it incredibly durable over their high run volumes, but they've had a few significant accidents with their trucks. They've been hit by vehicles, uh, T-boned and sideswiped, and with the volume of runs that these guys do, they need their trucks in service, so we were able to rapidly reproduce the parts, repair the trucks, and get them back in service. And that just frankly isn't available unless you're uh, building the trucks the way we do. I'm Wade Curvita from Custom Fire, and we all thank you for watching this video. And we'd love to hear from you uh, if you're in the market for a new apparatus. Welcome to Custom Fire! These two new trucks will be the second and third apparatus at Brook. These two new trucks will be the second and third apparat. Should I go? Where do you want me to talk? You can talk to that one, and I'll just take some. Okay. <sighs> Hold on a sec. Hold on. Nick's messing up our shot. These two trucks will be the third, uh, no, sh <clears throat> am I in this thing? I don't know why I walked over here, but. <laughs> Mounted on, I'll do it again. The body compartments, the front officer, or, sit uh, as far, there, as for, <laughs> I keep forgetting that the switch is over here. Underneath what you're also, you're not gonna see, but I'll, well, you're not gonna see it, but I'll just tell you about it. <laughs> These are chrome. Chrome! <laughs> now, should I do that again? I like to make editing really difficult for you if I can. I know. We're all a bunch of badasses here. Julie Hill, you've reached the desk of Julie Hill. <laughs> you're not putting that in the bloopers. <laughs>